Hello folks. Sometimes one has to penetrate the wall of the gasifier and then it's important to uh, make an um, absolute airtight seal. Not only the seal must be airtight, it must also be able to withstand high temperatures. Uh, here, for instance, I have a thermocouple who measure the uh, temperature of the reduction. Well, it gets quite hot here. Seven, 600, 700 degrees is not rarity. Here I have a shaker, and uh, also here it can be get very hot. Now this is a static seal, it's uh, less complicated, but here we must take in account that this rod still must be able to turn uh, freely. So um, the seal must be uh, allow this turning movement, and at the same time, it must completely prevent uh, from leaking in air or escaping gas. Later in this video, I show how I uh, did this. Well, uh, let's first start off by uh, sealing the thermocouple. For that, I use uh, scrap. For instance, uh, this... Um, uh, whatever it is, has some fine uh, sealing elements for these fine tubes, which uh, have the same diameter as uh, the thermocouple. So, we see the small ring. This ring goes over the... Uh, this ring goes over this... Uh, well, it's difficult with one hand, but I managed. Ah, I should have first put this one on top. So let's take it away. This one. Okay. Okay. Voila. Okay. Then we have this small ring. Yes. And finally, uh, we have the closing element, okay, and uh, it all goes through. Oh. It go well. It should go through. Maybe I haven't drilled it, but you have the idea. And then you press this. This goes in your gasifier. You press this and it seals off airtight. That is for the thermocouple. To seal off, let's say this is your gasifier wall. And uh, you want to get a rod for a great shaker or for an auger, for instance, through it, which you like to seal off. Well, then I have this rope. And uh, this rope is fitted tight inside here. Fitted tight inside here. Okay. Yes. And on top of that goes this, which presses the rope. Let's say you have screws from here to here, which presses the rope airtight around the rod. That's how I do it. Nothing much to it. Very simple techniques, known for a long time, but uh, very effective. Well, I hope in, uh, I hope uh, you you got some benefit from this video, and uh, thank you for watching.